Missouri and I uh, got back from my trip so this is my first good target and uh, I'll show you where we're hunting we're hunting this old unit right here built 1877 so my first coin I think is going to be a little bit old it's going to be right down here about five inches down and I can see it I believe it's going to be a weed head now let's see if we can get a year off of it here yeah I think it's going to have a year on it and not an old one 50s model but we'll take it we'll go on let's see what else we can find alright guys just miss it. Jeff just bonked his head on that limb there. <laughs> he did. Now, this is the true. I, I dug this up, flipped it up. Inside my shovel, there's a silver coin of some sort, but I have not looked at what it is. It? Yep. And it's right That's a, there. It's a dime. It is a dime. I think it's a rosy. Is it? I think so. Yep. Cool. Another Roosevelt dime. All right. See, let me get good. a year real quick and I'll hand her back to you. Yeah. 50 something. Yep. Cool. You tell me. Good job, Mikey. Yeah, thank you. 54. Huh? 54. That's what mine was. Yeah, 54 sure dime. You didn't take it out of my bag? Nope. Nope. That was a lot. That was good a real job, one. Thank you. I'm happy to have it. Let's go on. <laughs> hey guys, we're at this new place now and. Uh, see it behind me here anyway I just popped this out of the ground I don't know if it's an old watch facing or what it's kind of cool though isn't it it's copper I'll clean it up better later because it's got some numerals on it or something that's pretty cool all right well, let's see if we can get something else all right, guys, we're on this new spot now, and the wind's picked up a little bit, but I just had a 1227 signal, hunting with the 3030 today. Down underneath this root right here, and back, way back up in there, I just popped this out. I have no idea what it is, but it looks good. I don't know if that's gold, if it's a cuff link, or what. That's weird. That is a good find though. Alright, that's deep. Seven inches. Let's get some more. Alright guys, I got me a bucket lister. First time I ever found one of these. Check it out. It's one of them deals that you put a needle in and get stuff out of. Still got stuff in it too. Wow, that's pretty crazy, isn't it? All right, we'll make sure we throw that away when we get home. All right, let's get some more. All right, guys, down about four inches. I just popped this dude out. Looks like an older wheat, 19 and 18. I believe it is. Yep, all right. That's a good one. They missed that one. Let's see if we can get something else here. This yard's been hit several times, but they missed one. Alright, let's find another one. Alright guys, I just spotted this out not very deep. Let's see what it is. I haven't looked at it yet. Hoping it's Indian. It's Indian numbers. Oh, it is Indian. Wow, it looks like an older one. Let me see if I can get a date off of it real quick. I believe it's going to be in 1800s. I can't tell. All right, let's get another one. It is 1800s. I'm thinking that might be 1865. 
I know it's 18 and I see a 5 on the end. That may be a 6. I'll have to get underneath a better light and check it out later. Alright, well, let's get another one. Guys, I just dug that last inning right here and I checked the hole again, unfortunately. And I got a scratchy signal. Another 1137, about 4 inches. And I'm hoping this is another Indian. Could be an Indian spill. No, it's a wheat. Wow. Yep, wheat penny. I guess it's a wheat penny. Well, that's really strange. Definitely a wheat. Maybe a date on it or not. 1910. Alright, let's check the hole again. Maybe there's something else in there. Check this out, guys. I got this cool old bottle here. It's got metal wrapped around it. It's not just super old. It's pretty cool. Alright, let's get some more. Guys, I got me a cat out button here. Cat's out button. That's cool. All right. You guys, right here on the sidewalk strip, on the walk up strip, I just popped my third, fourth weed of the day. Are we get a date on it or not? All right, let's get another one. Guys, there's Jeff down there. I don't know if he's finding much, but I can come down to the sidewalk strip here and uh, walk up strip. And down there, super, super deep and a real scratchy signal, I just popped this dude out. I'm betting you it's Indian. I ain't looked yet, but they come up with terrible numbers. And I'm sure hoping it is Indian green like Indian and it is Indian all right Let's see if we can get date off of it 1878 well, I needed that one for my collection I'll sure take it all right, all right, all right, all right. Good job, Mike. Thank you. 1878. Let's get another one. Guys, check this out. Down in them roots and stuff. Old suspender clip. Well, that's an old one, too. It's got the teeth on it and all that. They're pretty old. All right, let's get some more. It's down there deep, too. Down there in them roots. Alright, let's find something else. Hey guys, check this out. Down about five or six inches. Just pop this out. It's a bail cell. That's a good one. Got the name on it and all. Wow, happy to have that. It's still got the wire in it. Awesome. Something else in the hole is probably junk, but we'll find out. I'll get back with you if it's anything good. Stay tuned. Hey guys, check this out. So, see these roots right here? So, I got my prying tool or my digging tool right up against this root. I had a 1136 signal, showed it six inches. So, I pried it up and checked what's on the end of my shovel. I haven't looked at it yet. I'm hoping it's Indian. It looks green. I did ding it. Uh, it's a wheat. It's old wheat, but still. For sure it's a wheat. Yeah, it's a wheat penny. Well, I'll tell you what, I was really thinking that might have been an Indian. Get a date off of it real quick. Let's 
17, is it? All right, guys, it's a newer one, 1920. All right, well, let's get another one. Well, guys, we're about ready to head out, six o'clock. Got a long drive ahead of us. But that's the place. Awesome day. Awesome day. My last dig here, I'm gonna call it quits, it's this nickel. It wasn't right in here, it wasn't real deep. But I think it's a good one. Let's check it out. Uh oh, it's a V nickel. Oh yeah. V nickel. I knew we'd get an old nickel some somewhere here. 1905 or 1904. 1904V. Right, That's a good one. Train's coming. 1904 That's a good one. Alright, let's get out of here. Hey guys, I come through here and hit this target here and somebody else had already dug right here where this plug's cut out right here and so it was off target a little bit so I came over and checked had a good signal and right beside that other plug I dug Andy in. Date off of it or not. Alright, got a date. Not with a girl, but with a coin. I believe it's 1900. Alright, we'll clean it up later. Jeff wasn't ready to go, so I just kept swinging. Let's get another one. Hey guys, Missouri Mike back with another cleanup. Hey, I'm glad to be back from England. It was a great trip, but it's good to be back and digging some ground that I know. Anyway, we went out and me and Jeff did some hunting today and got into some pretty good stuff. Hunted the yard had been hunted several times and uh, we still pulled out some goodies. Anyway, with the day in hand, I dug five nickels, five dimes, several zinc pennies, four quarters, a bunch of Lincoln cents, several Wheaties, Wheatie heads, I got a 1919, 1918, 57, 55, 1920, got a 1904 V nickel, which is cool, 1900 ending, which is beat up, Really old one, 1878 for me. That's a good one. 1878 V. It's one of my older ones. 1898 V. Or, Andy, I'm sorry. That one's in really good shape. I did get a piece of silver. 1900 Roosevelt or 1954 Roosevelt. D stamp on that one. Got this cool cuff link. 
still not sure if it's really good. The thing is plated. It's still cool though. Down about six inches. Got a couple bottles that are kind of cool. I don't think they're real old though. One's a medicine bottle, the other's a bottle for a needle I'll end up throwing that away. Those were both fairly deep. I got this really old buckle here, that's pretty neat. Couldn't tell any writing on it. Pretty sweet. I ended up getting this lead bail seal too. It actually has some writing on it. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, great time, great hunt. I appreciate you coming along, you know, and until next time. Well, this is my watch deal and my clock thing. Sundial. It's copper. Anyway, till next time, this is Mike.